everyone, I am Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and I am so excited to introduce you to my new series that I'm gonna have pretty much all of this year here on the Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. And that new series is Report Design. Now, backtracking a bit, I actually graduated with my degree in fine art, mostly oil painting, and illustration, kind of graphic design. And I taught myself web design, built a ton of sites, learned coding languages like CSS and HTML. I then worked as a web designer for two years, then ran a team of web designers for another year, and even trained web designers among other departments for even more time after that. So I am very firmly entrenched and passionate about design. Now, currently working with data, training others every day on Power BI, a huge gap that I see is in good report design. And that has led me to create this series for you all now. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over everything that I have planned to cover in this series. And I would love if you want to learn anything about report design that I don't have mentioned or on my list to cover, please comment that below and I will see where we can fit that in. So for this class, we are gonna start with the basics. We're gonna start in the beginning, we're gonna talk some theory, we're gonna go over report structure, starting everything off. Really how to set up a report that makes sense. And getting into that in your report structure and sizing, we're gonna be talking what visuals will best communicate your data. Do we want a table here, a line chart here, a column chart here, a custom visual? What is going to best show your data and achieve the goal of the report? We also wanna make sure the visuals that we choose are working together. How are we placing them together? How are we placing those visuals on the page using some design theory and elements for that? So we don't wanna like kind of overload the top of our report and have a bunch of teeny tiny things at the bottom because it's gonna look off balance. So we're gonna be getting into that, really understanding how our brains understand and look at design. So that way as we, report designers, are creating this, our end users are going to have the best chance of success with this report. Then we're gonna go into my favorite topic, which is color theory. So we're gonna talk all about what is color theory, how colors work together, and we will go over picking color palettes or making our own. I'll show you a ton of sites that you can use to do this, some recreated palettes adjusting those and just really making them your own. And then we're gonna talk making our own backgrounds. And so we'll be able to use images, patterns, textures, or even if you're like, I just want some colors, but like a gradient going in different directions, I got you. I'm gonna show you how you can make that background in PowerPoint, which odds are if you are using Power BI, you've got that full Office 365 suite and you've got PowerPoint already ready to go on your computer. If you're like, mm, I want a little step up, I'm also gonna show you how you can make a background in Canva. Now Canva is a, there's a free and a subscription model to Canva, and Canva is a editing tool, really similar to something like Photoshop. I have a Photoshop license, we could also do this in Photoshop. So if you wanna see a background in Photoshop, let me know and we could do it that way as well. Then we are gonna put all of these elements together and build some reports. So we're gonna use all of the things that we've learned, all the things we've talked about, about the structure, color theory, all of the visuals that we can use and what works best with the data, and build some reports. And we're gonna also be able to take some inspiration from some awesome websites and translate that into report design. Now a lot of you, I'm sure, are working for a company, you have specific colors, you might even want to mimic those colors, use the fonts, use all of the different things to really tie your report in so it looks branded, looks really great, and matches up with everything for your company, and we will get into all of that. So I've also got a few bonuses that I'm gonna throw in there and cover as we go through everything, but if there is anything that you really want to know about report design that I haven't said, please comment those below. And also make sure you are subscribed 
to the Pragmatic Works YouTube channel to see all of the videos when they come out. So on our channel here, we don't just talk about Power BI, we also talk all across the Power platform. So if you're looking to increase that knowledge, here our YouTube channel is a really great place to get started. We also have our on-demand learning platform and our on-demand learning platform, you can do a monthly fee, an annual fee, and on that you can also use my code Allison30 to get 30% off if you are not already a member. And we have, I think, close to 100 classes over there, everything from a two-hour class to a 30-hour class, again, on all topics all across the Power Platform. I just finished re-recording the storytelling class where a lot of these elements of report design are included. So if you are just ready to get started on report design, head over to our learning platform and I'll have that linked below. You can use my code if you're not already a member and you can get started on that data storytelling class, a leg up as these videos are coming out. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, have fun, go binge all of them. I'm excited for you to get started. So happy learning and I will see you in the next video where we are gonna get started on our report design.